Shalom. This is Ephraim Buckwald getting really into the Hanukkah spirit. Now, you know that the uh, sons of Mattathias are known as the Maccabees. The Maccabees. Uh, Maccabee is a Hebrew acronym for the phrase in the Bible, Mi Kamocha Beilim Hashem, who is like the Lord among the mighty, which the Jews sang out in unison as they crossed the Red Sea. A Maccabee also means hammer, strength. And the word Maccabee today means someone who is of extraordinary strength and tenacity. And I'd like to speak about two of my very, very close friends. One friend is a Rabbi Ezra who was stricken 13 years ago with colon cancer. And I have had the opportunity to sit with him over the years during his chemo sessions and his operations and to see the incredible willpower and strength and faith that he has is really something that is absolutely inspirational. I just spend a few hours with him in the hospital and I come back a strengthened person. If you'd look at him you would never know that anything was wrong, even though he's had lung operations and on parts of his body. He runs five miles a day and looks like a specimen of health. I pray that my friend Ezra be fully healed because he truly is a Maccabee. My other friend is also a rabbi, my friend Rabbi Marty. And Rabbi Marty um, had a problem with his weight. Some people are born with those problems. But he has lost 85 pounds since August. And it's an amazing thing because we're always worried about his health. And he is so determined and he looks very, very youthful. I enjoy giving him my jacket so that he could put it on. We have been friends for over 40 years and it takes such incredible willpower to do what he does and I also admire him as a Maccabee. So a Maccabee doesn't have to be a fighter who goes out and defeats the enemies. A Maccabee can be a person of resolute will who is determined to overcome challenges that seem to be insurmountable. And I want to express my tributes to my friends Ezra and to Marty and to bless them with good health and long life. Happy Hanukkah to all.